A Witcher is coming to an end. Thronebreaker. And it's been like three months. And the previous game was like five months or something, I think. Right? Yeah. Uh, it's always high pressure when I when it's time to pick the next RPG because they're so, so long. Or at least they often are. Some of these games on today's list might be a bit shorter. Anyway, I'd, I'd like to externalize this choice a little bit. I've made the first choice, which is that my, what I want to play next is one of those, like, double A slash, like, mid to late 2000s janky, not, not, not like... Not 20, 30 years old, but like old enough to be like in the somewhat classic category of like it's not a modern release. I don't know. I'm going for vaguely like in the like if we're talking like Source Engine or blocky 3D graphics or something like that. That kind of era of RPG is where I want to visit next for one of these games. And I have a decent list of ones that I've been trying to get to for a while. My category might not entirely make sense once we actually get through the list of them. But uh, I just want this is these are some of the games that have been on my to-do list for a, lo a long time. And the rest, the ones that don't get picked will continue to be on my to-do list for a while because it just takes so goddamn long to play all the RPGs you want to play, especially when new ones keep coming out. So let's get started. This one's maybe not a massive surprise. Arx Fatalis is from Arcane Studios, the people that made Dishonored and also made Dark Messiah of Might and Magic, of which I have also already covered. And so it's just going further and further back into their back catalog. First person dungeon crawly action RPG thing with like these visuals and all that in a world. This one especially won't come as a surprise because I bring it up every now and then. Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, a well-liked cult favorite Western RPG thing uh, that I just keep not getting around to, and maybe now I will, who knows. Uh, I don't have a ton to say about these games in general because I'm generally going in pretty blind, but so I don't know a lot about them. But I did I did flirt with the, West, the, uh, the Vampire the Masquerade tabletop RPG. Uh, for a, for a bit with one of my groups and uh, have kind of want to go in there. Also, look, there's a werewolf. Oh, his fa his eyeballs look funny, like Freddy Fazbear funny. <laughs> look who finally made it. You smell new, little girl. Fat Larry, take care of you. I'm the real deal OG man in the alley with what you need. I am Jeanette. Jeanette got a body built for bedrooms. You can call me Vivi. What an interesting specimen. What a pain in my dead ass for sure. Yo, I need a hardcore Terminator type for a supersized skull. Those suckers, they got some money, they got the explosives. You gotta get it back from them. Do whatever you people do. I won't lie. It's gonna be dangerous. Be on the other side of the world when you engage that timer. Nice work, Cupcake. Oh, absolutely intoxicating. Innovation's the first thing to go. On the inside, we're all dead meat, kitten. No sense, no fear, right? Yeah, I did. Here's a weird one. I divine cybermancy. Uh, on the, the most basic level, it might be considered to be vaguely relatable to like something like Deus Ex and that it's like maybe cyberpunk or maybe some kind of weird not what you'd expect future sci-fi shooter RPG thing with I just the most baffling elements every time anyone talks about this game they sound like they're having a fever dream and I've been wanting to check it out for the longest time and hey look another werewolf apparently <laughs> uh, this game's uh, you're welcome to do your own research it's I I can't 
tell when people talk about this game which parts they're joking about and which parts are actually part of the game because every time they say things it sounds completely insane uh, and I it sounds like it could be a fun time Sarak Fisbia. Eski Kalpat. Alpha Protocol. I bounced off this game a while ago, so I have technically played like the first mission of this game or something. Uh and I didn't like it at all, and I didn't play past the first bit. But back then I didn't really know who Obsidian was, and I just kind of wasn't prepped for it. And I'm also incredibly aware of the fact that I also bounced off of, like, the Temple of Elemental Evil, and CRPGs as a genre, and I bounced off of Mass Effect, which then... Like, I, 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 when I first played Mass Effect, I bounced off it and was like, I can't... I can't... What the fuck is this game? Because, the, because yeah, the controls felt weird, and, like, the gameplay felt wrong, and I wasn't didn't know what I was getting myself into. Uh, to some extent, that also happened with Dark Souls and Demon Souls and stuff like that. Like, sometimes something's just weird enough that you can fall off because of the weird first impression you get. But I came back to Mass Effect a week later and loved it. And I came back to Demon Souls and Dark Souls months or years later, and obviously we got along great eventually. So I want to try Alpha Protocol again, especially since people keep bringing it up periodically as being like this kind of neat Obsidian game that I don't know anything about. In international news, a leading arms trafficker is reported to have been found executed. Mohammed Omar bin Nasri, based in a remote part of Saudi Arabia, was in possession of over $100 million worth of small arms, ammunition, Go underground. and vehicles. Hide. I wish I could tell you who to trust. You are operating under Alpha Protocol. Not get your missiles back. And Anachronox. Uh, this game came up last time when I was doing the poll that eventually led to me playing Dark Messiah of Might and Magic. Just an ongoing curiosity. 
uh, it's a sci-fi strange RPG that's supposed to have like comedy writing and full voice acting and like really strange elements like how you're seeing here like the combat is turn-based which is not what you'd expect if you look at this at a glance and from what I've seen the basic like gameplay in the world features uh, point and click adventure mechanics like with an inventory and like pressing a button that makes a mouse pop up on the screen so you can click on things in the environment to solve like point and click adventure puzzles and stuff like that in the middle of what otherwise is a turn-based RPG from it's it's like a weird genre mishmash of confusing 2001-ness. <laughs> it's a, it, I, yeah. There's, there's stuff, there's stuff on this list that I'm just incredibly curious about. Hi. Hey, can we pull you aside for a second? Hi. Hi? Hi there. Hi! Yeah, this is gonna sound funny. You're saying Ms. Tech is from a future universe? place find a job this old guy grumpus so what's the problem my last hero sallied forth and got her limbs ripped off how are you any better than her i'm a professional hit me what i was gonna pick it up tomorrow 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 you son of a I've been waiting a long time for this. There's a brilliant scientist. Do I look like I care? Step back, sister. You don't know what you're talking about. Hold it. We're going up against gods. Oh my god. That's 20 questions. You guys lose. So what was it? Anachronox. Man, you guys are dumb. But you said it started with a U. Yeah, I know. Oh yeah, and as a note, uh, all the games listed here, some of them are on GOG rather than Steam also, and I, in some cases I even have them on both because they're sometimes they're just on sale for like $1.50, and I'm like, all right, I don't know which version is better, might as well just guard against that. Uh, so I'll do my research, and uh, stuff like Vampire the Masquerade in particular I think has like a, a mod that's supposed to like fix a ton of stuff and complete the game somewhat, kind of like uh, KOTOR 2 and Morrowind. Uh, that's sort of an updater thing. So I'll, I'll look into that kind of stuff. But yeah, those are the games that I'm thinking of, and I could use some help what, with what you guys exactly uh, are most interested in, because it's not an easy choice. They all seem really neat. So link in the description. Go vote. Mm -hmm.